Minecraft. It's all about squares and cubes. So what would a Minecraft Earth look like? Probably also a cube. Steam user Captain has tried to replicate this cube world in Universe Sandbox, so today we will be looking at his creation. Alright, so here's the simulation. You can see right away that there's the big Earth in the middle, and then we got these two smaller cubes, which are the Sun and the Moon. And you can see up close the detail on it. I mean, it's not as detailed as like a Minecraft world would be, but for Universe Sandbox, that's very impressive. Get to see, you can see there's water and vegetation. Um, so if we take a look at the stats here, the radius is about 4.6 times the radius of the Earth, which I think lines up if you take like the size of a Minecraft world. The surface temperature is really cold, but there's not really a way to heat it without an actual star in Universe Sandbox. And you can see that the rotational period is 20 minutes, and we all know a Minecraft day is 20 minutes long, so that lines up perfectly. Actually, if we unpause it, we can see that it spins really, really fast. Let's slow down time. If we do like 20 minutes a second, you can see it's spinning around one full time per second. And it looks like the sun and the moon are also spinning. Uh, I would assume that's just to stop the, because in Universe Sandbox, when objects aren't moving, they'll go towards each other. So I'm guessing they're orbiting just to stop them from crashing into it, just to keep them in orbit. And we can also see inside of the Earth, you can see there's a nether thing. So if we click on this and zoom in, you can see on the inside, it's like completely on the inside of the Earth, we have the nether, which actually has a really cool texture on it, which is cool because the nether is one eighth the size of the earth in Minecraft. And if we look, the radius here is 0.5 times the earth and this one's at 4.6. So that lines up about one eighth the size for the nether, which is really cool. And the textures on here look really cool. I'm wondering how they got that. All right, if we take a look at the sun over here, we can see that the temperature is very, very hot, which would make sense because it's a star but it doesn't seem to have any real heating effect on the actual Earth. But anyway, it's really cool to see that. And then on the moon over here, we can also see that it's got a moon-like texture on it. And it is also extremely cold, which is to be expected of a moon. But for Universe Sandbox, this is really cool to see. I'm guessing how they got these cube structures is they started with one of these cubes. They start really small, as you can see, very, very small. It doesn't look that small compared to these. And then they just did something like make it huge. Like that. Oh, yeah. And I'm also wondering how they got those textures on there. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to figure that out. But that's very cool to see. Um, they could have also used dice. Maybe. Let's take a look at these dice. Oh, uh, no, they wouldn't because it has these pillowed edges, and these have the sharp edges. So I guess it's probably from these cubes. But anyway, so that's going to be it. I mean, there's not very much to see. It's just a Minecraft world. But if you have any suggestions for other Universe Sandbox videos you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments because I love seeing your guys' ideas. Um, also, if you have any questions about how to play the game or anything, I would love to try to answer them. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.